This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Egg terrorists plotting to attack Jeff Bezos' new yacht. The Koningshaven or Kings Harbour Bridge is 145 years old. The structure was the first part of Rotterdam's skyline to be rebuilt after the city was almost completely destroyed during World War II. Rotterdam's council said after it was fully repaired in 2017 that it would never be dismantled again. But to enter Jeff Bezos and his half a billion dollar, 127 metre super sailing yacht being finished at the Al Blaster Dam facility. The vessel's mass will be so tall that it would be impossible to make it under the bridge with them in place. Many news reports have stated that the super yacht, which will be the largest sailing yacht in the world once completed, will be 40 metres high. However, this is inaccurate as the actual clearance of the bridge in Rotterdam is 46.5 metres high. If the new super yacht was 40 metres high, she would sail clear under without any intervention needed. Once the giant masts are fitted in place, the sailing yacht, which is longer than a football field at 127 metres long, will mo almost likely reach 100 metres high. The same shipyard delivered the 106 metre sailing yacht Black Pearl in 2018, and her masts were 70 metres tall. These same news reports are stating that the centre section of the bridge built in 1898 needs to be removed temporarily to allow passage, and that Mr Bezos will pick up the tab for this work. The story seems to be leaving a bitter taste in the mouths of locals. One man, Pablo Storman, has started a Facebook group event called Throw Eggs at Superyacht Jeff Bezos. He plans to be at the bridge known as the Hef on the day the vessel is due to sail under, reportedly the 6th of June, to pelt rotten eggs at Jeff Bezos. So far he's had 3,600 RSVPs to the event. It all sounds like a bit of fun, and the people will no doubt think it's a chance to spoil Bezos' day. However, Jeff Bezos is not going to be on board, and the only people getting pelted with eggs would be the crew of the vessel and some shipyard workers, themselves most likely locals to Rotterdam, on board for the trip. And it will be the crew that has to clean up the mess. Also, consider the money being poured into the local economy by the Amazon founder, allegedly as much as $485 million. The possible effect on future bills if there are ugly scenes at the bridge could be bad for business. Rotterdam is a city with a rich maritime history, and I'm sure they'd rather have vessels being built there, even if it means some temporary disruption to a bridge. The bridge will be out commission for a couple of weeks during the summer to allow the vessel's passage if this goes ahead. However, as of three days ago, the local council who control the bridge say they have not even received an application from anyone to dismantle it. So could this story just be a case of social media fake news gone wrong? If so, there could be some local Rotterdammers with egg on their own faces come the 6th of June. If you have any more information on this story, or you have any other news, please get in touch. And don't forget to subscribe for further updates.